Hi, ever wondered how computers can detect exactly where you're looking at? Well, in this video, I'll be doing a real-time gaze detection demo using Python, OpenCV, and the gaze tracking library, all in a single Google Colab project. Now, to start off with, we will be installing the necessary packages. We're going to use DLib for facial landmark detection and then OpenCV Python for image processing. Next, we will also be cloning the tra gaze tracking GitHub repository, which gives us the core gaze detection functionality, and we'll be doing that through this code right here. Next, we will be using the Google Collapse files dot upload in order to bring in the face image, and this could be a webcam capture or even a screenshot that has your face visible and then both of your eyes visible. And next thing that we're going to do is we are going to load the image using the OpenCV package that we've just downloaded and then we're going to pass it through the gaze tracking model in order to determine if the person's blinking looking left right or even center and we'll be doing that via these codes next thing that we're going to do the script then kind of gets the pupil coordinates and then draws small colored circles like at the center of each of the pupils and green is going to be for the left eye both colors are green actually for both of the pupils and next thing that we're going to do is we will be converting the image from a VGR to an RGB for display. And we're going to use matplotlib in order to show the results right inside Cobla. So let's see how it's going to actually work when we upload and choose a file. So in this file, in this image, I'm currently looking left. Let's see if the computer can actually detect that. Huh. So it tells us the direction that I'm looking at and also tells us, oh, and also dis displays it with green circles at the center of my pupil, as well as title right here. And all right, that is it. And only with a few lines of code, you can estimate a person's gaze direction using machine learning in Python and also this open repository on GitHub. And I think it's a great starting point for accessibility tools, whether you're trying to use this as a sort of a um, starting foundation project for further object detection models, I think it's a great starting point.